Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a health update and um, this is a long overdue video. I don't have on any makeup and I'm just wanted to film something. I was actually about to film a try on haul but I don't feel like it because I don't feel like dancing and I don't feel like being entertaining right now. It's that time of the month. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I'm on my period and I feel like punching somebody in the face. Um, and I'm not as energetic and pumped up as I usually am. But uh, this is me when I don't like anyone and I want to die. I wanted to film this video because um, it's long overdue. And to be quite honest, I'm going to be as honest as I can be in this video. Um, I'm not going to go into grave detail about everything, but I do want to kind of give you guys an update because I haven't done one. Last update I did was in July. Um, I did do a few healthy videos here and there talking about like eating gluten-free and all that stuff. Um, my process for how I eat and everything like that. This video is so long overdue because I was waiting to have good news to tell you. And I don't. My first optimal health video I made in July of last year. Um, and... I was doing really good after that video up until around the holidays. I started to relapse and backtrack and slip up. I've made, I'm still holding on to a lot of my progress. I'm still over a hundred pounds. I haven't lost like all of my weight that I gained and everything like that, which is a blessing because honestly, it seems like I should have lost way more than what I did. As far as like being stressed and overwhelmed and anxious and feeling, you know, depressed because of the my hormone levels being bad and all that stuff. I feel like all of that didn't come back as strong as it could have and I'm I'm really grateful for that. I'm glad. However, um you guys know I've told you that the winter time is always the hardest time for me um because that's when I usually don't take good care of myself and I I kind of struggled this winter again um because Again, I wasn't really taking good care of myself and so now I'm in the springtime again trying to play catch up and trying to do exactly what I was doing last year, which is get back to health. So, and I made that I made that video in July. Um, and I, my progress was really well and it had been pretty good for about seven months. And then in August, I had a, an issue happen. Um, I, I'm gonna, I don't wanna say but I'm just gonna let y'all know what happened. So basically, I missed the period. Um, it was really, really late, almost four weeks late, almost a whole month late. My period came back um, and it was, I, when I was going to, if you guys watch Life of the Logans, I was going to New York. And so the day before I was going to New York, I was having really, really, really bad cramps. It wasn't like normal cramps, it was really bad. They were like more like contractions. Um, I didn't actually end up going to the doctor because I was going out of town. Like I said, I was went to New York, so there was no way I could go to the doctor. Um, so I made an appointment to see my doctor after I got back. So it had been about two weeks um, and afterwards that I went to go see the doctor and they said everything was fine. Um, they took, you know, they gave me a blood test or whatever and everything came back normal. So. Um, they said my levels were normal and everything so I mean there was nothing wrong with me at that point but after that I didn't really have a regular cycle um, and so I don't know I felt like my hormones were kind of thrown off a little bit um, so in October and November I was traveling a lot and then in December I was traveling a lot again because I was going back and forth um, to visit my family for the holidays so um, and then within that, I was eating all the holiday food, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't eating like I should have been. I was eating gluten and I was going in on the sugar, okay? Um, in January, I did get an infection. Um, and so I, I feel like my health wasn't as good as it could have been because had my health been right, I think I would have not been more prone to getting sick. And in February, I was sick. I was really, really sick the week that I went to Charlotte to do my event. If you guys watched that video where I was like literally dying. I have a very high pain tolerance. So uh, I seemed fine in the video. Like I, I did the event and everything, but I was floating. Uh, but I was definitely having chills um, and just like going through it. It almost felt like the flu. I'm not sure if it was the flu, but that's what it felt like. It lasted for a couple days and then I went to Cabo a few days later and I, f I felt fine in Cabo. And then when I got back from Cabo, I was having some digestion issues because I always have digestion issues after I go out of town. I, I was kind of okay until last week. 
I guess I, I guess it was infection. I don't know. I felt like there was like a pain in my side and I was having chills and stuff again. So I went to the doctor um, and so all my symptoms were all over the place. They were low key menopausal symptoms. So I feel like it's hormonal because the, at the same time that I got sick, I was actually very hormonal, um, like really, really hormonal, like having cramps and like mood swings and you know, the normal PS, PMS stuff. So it was PMS in conjunction with this, I guess, infection um, that, I, that I had. Um, so I got my results back from the doctor and it is infection. It's not a full on kidney infection or anything, but I just need to make sure that I am flushing it out of my system. So let me just tell you, I think I'm pretty sure that all of this, these issues that I've been having, um, with like pain in my sides and not feeling well and my hormones being kind of out of whack is because my body is fighting going back to the stage that it was in um, where if you haven't watched the previous video where I talked about my health I was saying that my hormones were not balanced properly because I was malnourished I wasn't eating properly and I wasn't eating enough because I wasn't getting enough of those nutrients it was causing my body to be very stressed um, so I think my body is fighting off that stressed stage again and my hormones are out of whack. I haven't been taking my supplements regularly so maybe that has something to do with it as well. Obviously my body's breaking down because I'm not taking care of it. That's basically what it is. So I'm, try I'm trying to get back on track again. I've been taking my supplements again. Really trying to like boost everything. I've been busy and I've, I've been fortunate enough this time around to have people in my life who can keep me accountable. It's not like they just came out of blue, out of the blue though. I had to reach out to people and say, hey, this is what I'm going through. I need you to keep me in check. And they're great people, so they do it and they do it with love. But it's not like I was just like chilling and all these people came and found me and they're like, hey, I'm gonna help you. Like, no, I actually had to reach out to them. So I've come out of my shell a lot in far, as far as talking about my problems with others. So I think that's helpful, but um, that that's really the only reason that I'm that I'm not as bad as I could be because I have people forcing me to eat and to drink water and, and to go to the doctor if I need it and to, you know what I'm saying? Because usually I would not go to the doctor. I would not tell anyone. I would just be like, it'll pass, put a bandaid on it, it'll go away. Um, but that's not the case anymore because I'm 26. When you're older than 25, things don't bounce back as quick. So you gotta, <laughs> you gotta like, you gotta really work hard to make sure you're taking care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's my update. I don't have any good news. Um, but I'm gonna try to do better. And we just gonna get this thing back. You know, I don't feel malnourished like I usually do. Um, I'm still holding a steady 105. Last time we talked, I was 108. Um, but I'm holding a steady 105. Um, 104, 105 is my normal weight at this point. That's not too bad. Um, it's not where I wanna be more than anything. My weight is not my concern, my health is my concern and I just wanna make sure that I'm healthy. And the fact that I got my period this month is um, a good thing. So with my with my diet, um, I have been eating gluten. I started eating gluten again, uh, not as heavy. I don't buy loaves of bread um, and I don't, I don't buy a lot of gluten. I try to eat a lot of protein. Anytime I eat a meal, I try to eat protein and I try to eat green vegetables. So I've been eating a lot of spinach lately and I've also been eating a lot of avocado, um, putting avocado in everything. Every meal that I eat, I try to have some avocado. I still try to eat right for the most part. I think I'm doing okay with eating right. I think I've been very dehydrated this winter. I feel the effects of dehydration. Um, so I've been trying to increase my water intake again because I was slacking. Um, I've been drinking coconut water again because I need the electrolytes, but um, it's mostly just getting back on track. I know what I need to do, I just need to do it. But as far as being stressed and overwhelmed, I I'm proud of myself in this area. What's crazy is I've increased my productivity and decreased my stress at the same time. It's so weird. I also, I have an assistant now. Um, she's been helping me increase my productivity and decrease my stress. So she takes care of the things that I stress over, which is mainly like stuff that I need to do but don't want to do. She actually comes to my house and helps me. Um, and she's not just some random person. Like I said, I, nobody in my life is random. Everybody is purpose designed, trust me. I, I've known this girl. It's funny, it's so weird. It's like, now that I'm going through this health, not problem but now that I'm like learning my body and like really trying to get my health right 
God has placed people in my life that are helpful and beneficial to me and don't hurt me, which is, which is crazy because usually I'm the one who is kind of standing in the gap for other people. I'm usually the one who's trying to help somebody else. But in this season of my life, I need people who are helping me. Um, not that I not that I don't help people because I still do. I'm I'm still a giving and helping person, um, and I try to help people as much as I can. In fact, um, like I was talking about my assistant, um, it's not like she just came in my life to help me. It's an exchange. You know what I'm saying? She came into my life when I needed her, and at at that same time, she was going through something, and I was able to help her with it too. So it was an exchange, and I feel like that's so weird how that happened at the like perfect time, the transitional part of her life and my life where we collided. Crazy, right? Um, but in the past, I've had very draining relationships. I've had very draining um, friendships and relationships that took a lot out of me. And so now I feel like going through this, I could not have gone through this kind of thing with those people um, because they would not have been helpful. They would have made me feel worse and they would have taken a lot more from me. And the people in my life now are givers and that's so awesome the people in my life now are very like nurturing they've been so helpful man it's like i have a whole bunch of moms around me um all I, all of the people in my life i don't even really call them friends because to be honest i'm an adult now and i feel like adult friendship is different it's not like regular friendship like the people in my life now i don't necessarily look at them as friends because it it's not the same type of friendship that you would think it is. It's kind of like, it's not, it's like family. They're like family to me. So I consider the people in my life now family. They're sisters. They are, um, I don't even know, but they're not friends though. I don't, I don't want to say they're friends because I feel like friend is a loose term. I feel like friend is a term that people use way too loosely now. It can apply to anybody in anything in any situation. And I think people expect too much from people they call friends who aren't really their friends. It's not even like special anymore for people to be your friend. I think anybody can be your friend now. People call everybody a friend, it's so weird. Um, anyways, beyond the point, I've totally gone off subject. Yeah, like I said, I feel good. I feel good, I just need to get back on track. Um, just no progress has been made. I backtracked and now I'm back to square two. Not square one, but square two. I'll let you guys know if anything else changes. Um, but for the most part, that's it. Uh, I'm the kind of person, if things aren't going well, I'm not gonna say anything. Um, so if I get quiet, don't assume the worst. But it just, I just don't have anything to say at this point. I wanna give you guys something good and something of substance. You know, I don't wanna waste your time. Uh, I don't wanna waste my time. I don't want to have to edit a 30 minute video of me saying nothing happened. That's it, y'all. Bye.